Tottenham's stance towards moving for Adrian Rabiot or another high-profile free agent. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. Alistair Gold would be surprised if Tottenham swooped for a free agent. On Saturday, Gold held a Q&A on Football London and a fan asked him whether Spurs were looking at someone like Rabiot. The Tottenham expert responded by saying this was unlikely as Ange Postacoglu has often stressed that he would only sign players that would fit his system perfectly. Unless there are any injuries on international duty or in training in the next week before the Premier League squad registration needs to be made, I'd be surprised if there was a free agent signing, said Gold. Mainly because Postacoglu is always talking about not signing short-term stopgap players for the sake of having another body. He only wants players that fit his very specific system and if he'd wanted any of the available free agents then they'd have gone for them beforehand. He made a big point when I asked about centre-backs of saying that they didn't just sign anybody because there was nobody available that he wanted. Like I say, I think it would take an injury and big squad cover issues to make the move for anyone with the likes of Adrian Rabiot, Anthony Marshall and Memphis Depay out there. Tottenham could do with some more reinforcements at centre-back and with that in mind they should consider a move for Joel Matip. Obviously Spurs would need to do their due diligence in terms of his fitness as he has been out for a long time due to an ACL injury which required surgery in December. Joel Matip's salary and signing on demands would also have to be taken into consideration but should all of Tottenham's boxes be ticked then he would be a good addition to the Spurs ranks. He's a world-class defender who is proven in the Premier League and would be a great asset on the pitch, in training and in the dressing room. Mats Hummels would have also been a good shout for Tottenham. Indeed, Spurs were linked with him, but he has since joined Roma. Journalist says Spurs star is running out of chances to fulfil his vast potential. The Daily Mail's Matt Barlow believes that this season might be James Madison's last chance saloon to fulfil his potential and force himself back into the England squad. Madison has spoken about the heartbreak he experienced after being left out of the England squad for Euro 2024, with the attacking midfielder admitting that he is keen to use that as fuel to showcase his best this season. The 27-year-old has certainly done that so far appearing much sharper in the first three Premier League games of the season and looking more like the player we saw prior to his ankle injury last year. However, the former Leicester man did not do enough to force himself back into the England squad, with Lee Carsley leaving the Tottenham man out for the start of the new Nations League campaign. Given the players that Madison is now competing with, Barlow feels that it is now or never for the midfielder to step up and show that he belongs at the top table. The journalist wrote, Madison though was not in the frame when Carsley selected his first England squad. Three months after missing the final cut for Euro 2024 under Gareth Southgate, Tottenham's playmaker was overlooked again. Carsley opted instead for the uncapped Morgan Gibbs-White of Nottingham Forest, one of four players he had promoted from the U21S. There is no shortage of talent in this area for an England boss. One of the successes of the modern academy system has been to produce more creative midfielders. Jude Bellingham, Phil Foden, Cole Palmer and Gibbs White all come into this category, all younger than Madison. It feels as if chances are disappearing for those on the periphery from Madison's generation and if he is to add to the seven caps one across five years, he needs to snap back into his best form quickly. Madison could not have done too much more in the first couple of games of the season, with the attacking midfielder looking at his lively and enterprising best. If he keeps performing to the same level and stays injury free, he will almost certainly be in the next England squad. Crystal Palace had an Ez replacement lined up amid Spurs rumours. Tottenham were linked so heavily with one Premier League player that his club had a replacement ready to go just in case the move went through. Of the many names suggested as Tottenham transfer targets over the summer, Eberechi Edza was perhaps the strongest link of them all. The playmaker was earmarked as the kind of player Spurs needed. It was thought Ezra himself was keen on the switch, and Crystal Palace made it very clear exactly how much he would cost too. But the transfer window closed, and Ezza stayed put. Now though, it has been revealed that Palace was so sure a move was coming that they had a ready-made replacement lined up. 
A report from the Daily Mail discusses the matter, suggesting Palace fully expected Eze to move on and had eyed up PSV Eindhoven winger Johan Bakayoko as his successor. It appears Palace were well prepared to lose another key player after seeing Michael Olis move on too and were not willing to take any chances in the market by being left short of creativity. In the end, neither player moved on and both have got off to good starts for their club so far this season. According to Fabrizio Romano, Spurs still very much appreciate Edza, but never made a firm offer for the Palace star and did not try to trigger his £68 million release clause. However, a report from the Daily Mail earlier this week claimed that release clause, which expired last month, will be active again next summer. Alistair Gold's theory on why DJ Spence is not in Tottenham's Europa League squad. Earlier this week, Spurs announced their Europa League group stage squad and there was a glaring omission with Jed Spence failing to make the cut. As per Football London, the Europa League regulations meant Ange Postacoglu had to omit two senior players. Alastair Gold has now issued a damning verdict on Postacoglu's decision to omit Spence from Spurs' Europa League squad. Gold even went as far as to describe the lack of an outfield club trained player in the first team as a big red flag. Gold wrote, Spence has done really well this summer and impressed everyone inside the club, including Postacoglu. I think he's just been really unfortunate in that the squad choice would suggest the Spurs boss does not trust his backup goalkeeper options enough to leave out the experienced Fraser Forster. That means Spence was the odd man out. It's a very risky decision because it leaves the defensive cover very light for the group stages. Romero is suspended for the first game against Carabag and an injury or two more and there's going to be some problems. Spence was able to cover both right and left back spots. How the 24-year-old will react is going to be interesting. He's come on in two of the first three Premier League games and will likely play in the Carabao Cup, so he should still get game time. It's just a massive shame because he would have played a lot in Europe. Overall, it's a big red flag against the squad management Spurs have overlooked in recent years, with not a single outfield club trained player in the first team now. They have made moves to change that, but it's been a problem they should have sorted a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago that Spence was being talked about as a potential departure from Spurs, but he has worked so hard to get back in contention. The outcome of this is that he remains at the club and is in line for more minutes. But leaving him out of the Europa League squad will have been a bitter pill to swallow. The Europa League will be a great opportunity for some of the fringe players to get starts and give Postacoglu food for thought, but that won't be happening now. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs.